Finally, if we are to win the battle that is now going on around the world between freedom and tyranny, the dramatic achievements in space which occurred in recent weeks should have made clear to us all, as did the Sputnik in 1957, the impact of this adventure on the minds of men everywhere who are attempting to make a determination of which road they should take. Now it is time to take longer strides, time for a great new American enterprise, time for this nation to take a clearly leading role in space achievement, which in many ways may hold the key to our future on Earth. I believe we possess all the resources and talents necessary, but the facts of the matter are that we have never made the national decisions or marshaled the national resources required for such leadership. We have never specified long-range goals on an urgent time schedule or managed our resources and our time so as to ensure their fulfillment. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. This decision demands a major national commitment of scientific and technical manpower, materiel and facilities, and the possibility of their diversion from other important activities where they're already thinly and spread. It means a degree of dedication, organization, and discipline, which have not always characterized our research and development efforts. It means we cannot afford undue work stoppages, inflated costs of material or talent, wasteful interagency rivalries, or a high turnover of key personnel. New objectives and new money cannot solve these problems. They could, in fact, aggravate them further, unless every scientist, every engineer, every serviceman, every technician, contractor, and civil servant gives his personal pledge that this nation will move forward with a full speed of freedom in the exciting adventure of space. This is a breathtaking pace, and such a pace cannot help but create new ills as it dispels old. New ignorance, new problems, new dangers. Surely the opening vistas of space promise high costs and hardships as well as high reward. So it is not surprising that some would have us stay where we are a little longer to rest, to wait. But this city of Houston, this state of Texas, this country of the United States was not built by those who waited and rested and wished to look behind them. This country was conquered by those who moved forward and so will space. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win, and the others too. Minus 15 seconds, guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff, we have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. 875 feet. 
Roger. Six forward. 60. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Lights on. Down two and a half. Forward. Forward. Forty feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. Thirty feet, two and a half down. Straight shadow. Four forward. Four forward, drift into the right level. Thirty. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Forward, just. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. APA at a descent. Coast control, both auto, decent engine command override off. How's that? Engine arm off. Fantastic. 413 is in. We do it every day. We've had shut down. We copy you down, Eagle. We are coming to T1. Stand by T1. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Tranquility. We copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, keep your You're looking good, good here. Yeah. Steady as a rock. Good shape, both systems if you need them. Roger. Okay, we're going to be busy for a minute. 414 plus 2, Jay. Thank you. 414 plus 2 to state veterans. I'll get it. Black and taller is about 45 seconds. The T1 stay on the stay. Hey, look back there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Take note of all your little alarms there. Okay, okay, keep, keep the chat out of this. Sure, Bob, uh, it didn't drop the flat. Roger. Power's over, Bob. Roger. Okay. Looks okay. Made a power. Okay, okay. stay no stay. Right off. Stay. 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 And we're then in favor T1. Roger, and we see you venting the honor. Right, I'd like to update your weather. Right, we'll see. Roger, right. when you get into the uh, lunar stay? Not now. Master Long, we'll do this. Okay. Roger. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.